All right, hello everybody. Um, so the quest version of the puppy base is finally out, and um, I am going I'm going to make this tutorial because it's kind of uh, a weird way to put it together. But I wanted to not compromise on having um, the puppy base be um, less optimizable. Um, so. Uh, we're going to start in Blender, and um, this is not optional if you want to uh, put together your own um, your own dog. Um, if you just want to use uh, the two presets that I made, that's totally fine. That's up to you. Uh, but it will not have any customization options or anything. Um, but anyways, uh, it's very simple, very quick. Um, even if you have zero Blender experience, you'll be able to do it. So, um, first thing that we want to do is we want to download Blender 3.0.1 or higher. It uh, doesn't matter which version, just uh, it has to be 3.0.1 or higher. And then we want the Cats uh, Blender plugin. This is going to make our lives uh, very easy here. So, we want to download this plugin. And we're going to open up the Quest. Uh, uh, the Quest um, Blender file here. Uh, have it up right here. So it's going to look like this. And um, this is the Cats plugin here. I've already loaded it in, but if you don't know how to load it in, you want to go up to uh, Edit, Preferences, and then this Add ons um, tab right here. Uh, you're going to click Install and you're going to navigate to where you downloaded um, the Cats plugin. You're going to install the add on. And then you're going to search for it, cats, and then you're going to click this checkbox here to uh, enable it. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, so what we want to do is um, we'll notice that we have all the different ears and all the tails and the hair tuft as well. And um, so they're all still rigged um, and they're all still separate. Uh, if you know anything about quest avatars, you'll know that everything needs to be on one mesh, or as little meshes as possible. Um, and there can only be one armature. So uh, the pipeline that I've sort of developed for this is that you should use um, the Cat's Blender plugin to um, merge these armatures and meshes together into one. And it's really, it's really, really easy. So you're going to come into the Cat's um, plugin here, right here, you see it'll say cats. Um, you'll have a bunch of things, you can ignore most of this. Um, we want to come down into custom model creation. And um, what we want to do is we want to uh, join the meshes. Um, we can actually leave these uh, defaulted, actually. Um, but what we want to do is we want to sort of Figure out which one, um, which of which of the ears and which of the tails that we want, and if we want this hair top. Um, and then we're just going to merge them here. So the base is going to be the armature, which is the main armature for the body here. Um, and we want this to be the main armature, so we're going to leave that in the base. The main armature, and we're going to merge, uh, let's say, the beagle ears. Um, but we want to attach it to the head because that is where the the root bone is for the ears. So we want to find that head bone here, wherever it is, and head. And then we're just going to merge it. Right, and um, if you click on the armature, you'll see that it has added the uh, beagle ear armature onto the base body armature. And if you click on the mesh and uh, you press uh, 3 into edit mode, you'll notice that the ears are now part of uh, the base mesh as well. Um, you don't have to mess with any of the materials. The materials are uh, completely um, done for you. You don't have to mess with anything else. Um, so let's do this again with the tails. Let's say we want um, this curly tail. So again, the base is going to be the armature, and we want to locate the curly tail, tail curly here. And we want to attach this to the hips, um, because uh, all, the, all the tails are going to be... Um, uh, it's, it's, the hips are like the closest bone to it, so that's what we're going to um, um, attach it to. We're, we're essentially just parenting 
uh, the armature of the tails and ears to its nearest uh, neighbor. So uh, hips. Let's find it somewhere. Here we go. Hips, merge armature. All right. And again, if you click on it, it's one single mesh now. Um, so what we want to do is we are going to export this out now into Unity. And so we're going to click on the mesh. We're going to click on the armature. We're going to go up into File, Export, FBX. And we can um, save this anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to save it into this folder. I'm going to call it Base Quest Tutorial. Uh, I'm going to limit it to the selected objects because we do not want anything else to be exported with it, just uh, what we've selected. Uh, we're going to apply the transform. We're going to go into Armature and uncheck Add Leaf Bones. And then we will export this. And um, we're going to open up our Unity project. I have over here. Okay, so I'm going to actually make a new folder for myself. Create folder. Tutorial. Up. All right, and I'm going to import our uh, newly created dog in here. So we're going to import a new asset. Here we go. All right, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna speed through um, how to set up a, a VR chat avatar here. So this is gonna come up. We want to go into the rig tab, hit uh, humanoid here, apply. Gonna wait for it. All right, and go into the configure uh, tab. Uh, your pop's gonna look like this, which is fine. Um, the chest will not be detected, which is bad. We want to put the chest moon drag it into this chest slot here. So the chest bone is right over here. Just drag it into the slot here. We want to go into the head. It's going to detect the jaw, which is bad. We want to delete the jaw. We'll take a couple tries, but if you delete it, uh, that's good. We do not want a jaw. Uh, everything else looks good. Left hand looks good. Right hand looks good. Everything else should be completely fine. So we're going to apply. We'll give it a second here. Done. All right, that's the rig defined here. So what we can do now is we can drag this FBX up into the hierarchy, and it's going to go to the 000, zero, zero which is good. Uh, we'll hide the husky for now. Um, so what we can do is we can actually copy. Um, if you click on either the hyena or the husky, it doesn't matter. If we go into um, uh, the VRChat avatar descriptor, we can uh, um, copy this component here. We're going to paste it into our pub here so you don't have to fill in any of this shit. Uh, going to, we have a couple things to um, fill in though. So if we go into the armature in Unity, you can see that the tail is um, bound to the hips here. And if we come up into the head, we'll see the ears as well. There we go. So what this um, lets you do is um, when the new avatar dynamics um, is released, uh, you'll be able to uh, hook that up. Uh, right now, it is not. Um, I haven't put them on uh, just because they're still in beta as of uh, this recording. Um, but when that is out of beta, I will be. All right, as I was saying, um, right, we need to replace the body skin to mesh. So we can just come down over here and locate the body here. Just drag that into this slot here so that uh, the visines work properly. Uh, we're going to replace the, eye, the eyes as well. Just drag on the eye left and the eye right. Uh, right now, those bones, those bones were pointing to the hyena, so it wouldn't have worked unless we replaced those with the proper bones. Um, everything else is good. Uh, the effects should be puppy underscore effects, and the expression should point to the puppy main menu and the puppy parameters. And everything else uh, should be good to go. Uh, it's just a matter of applying materials. 
Uh, I don't have custom materials here, so I'm just going to slap on uh, the husky material here. And these are not correct, but whatever. Oh, wait, look at that. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, you can just um, apply materials. Um, it's just a matter of... Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, Right-click, uh, create uh, material. And the material for Quest is going to be the VRChat mobile toonlet. And all you have to do is drag your texture into the slot, and uh, that's pretty much it for a material for Quest. Um, am I missing anything? Um, oh yeah, uh, the Quest does have um, all those uh, body blend shapes, so um, at this point, if you want any of these, you can, of course, apply these. All you have to do is... Um, use these sliders to get what you're looking for and then just upload it like that. Uh, the Quest Pup has um, animations, or well, the tail animations, um, all the expressions. There were some sacrifices with the expressions for Quest, mainly just um, the blush, the angry, and um, the confused eyes. Um, but uh, they're still very similar. Um, other than that, um, you can just go ahead and um, upload this to the Android uh, version. If you have any errors, you can just hit auto fix. Fix this. So the performance rating is going to be a poor, which is fine. Um, I'm pretty impressed that I got it to a poor in the first place rather than uh, very poor. But um, yeah, at this point, you can uh, hit Build and Publish for Android, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, just hit up the Discord. Um, yeah, thank you.